What's up, water signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekly vibes. So, let's see what's coming in for our water signs for the weekly vibes. Best friend. Uh oh, y'all meeting a new best friend. Oh my God, somebody that's going to treat y'all. Okay. Being kinder to yourself will attract others who will be kind to you. Best friend, chivalry isn't dead. Okay. Notoriety and camaraderie isn't dead either. Okay. So that's the closest card I got to that type of thing. So this may just be somebody that's like really, really down for y'all. They see you as such a rock star, superstar. Okay. All right. This is somebody that will really bring a lot of dope ideas into your life. Like, instead of this person trying to steal your identity or steal your ideas, like people from the past that we've been picking up in the collective, y'all, this person is like gonna actually be telling you stuff like really good, life changing ideas that you should take heed to. Because it seems like you, this person is divinely guided into your life. And this person may be an older woman or man. Okay, they bring in love, tenderness, and inner power. All right, all right, yeah, this person is meant to come in and give you some ideas as to how you can get out of misfortune. For those of you water signs that may be feeling like y'all facing a tough time, okay, yeah. Now, one thing I have to say is y'all got somebody Middle Eastern that y'all don't want in y'all life anymore, okay? This person definitely tried to stop you or this person swear up and down that you stoppable or they trying to test their powers. This person may have contact with Jan spirits, okay? So yeah, definitely don't let that person contact you no more. But see, what they don't know is that you definitely have uh, protection from evil, okay? So, yeah, so leave the past behind y'all because y'all got a new friend that's coming in. Maybe this person have ideas that they want to give to you as to how to clear off a gen spirit that somebody could have tried to put on you or to put some type of protection over yourself because somebody here trying to stop you. They feel like challenge accepted, like whatever this is, like if, if people know that you're a divinely protected person, whoever this is, it's like they want to challenge you. Okay, you may be somebody with braids, locks, or, uh, yeah, braids or locks, and that could even be faux locks, soft locks, anything like that. You guys are needing to honor the inner God or goddess, you know? It's like, keep honoring who you are. Don't stoop low. Embrace inner peace or embrace people that bring inner peace into your life. Yeah, you try to break a trauma bond and somebody definitely, or you wouldn't allow a trauma bond to occur, okay? So somebody definitely couldn't uh attain some type of uh, strength and authority over your subconscious mind so now they want to attack you okay definitely eat clean this week y'all alkaline diet yeah it's a masculine here nasty as fuck star cross lovers want to nut in you and um i feel like they only want to do that to leave some type of dna imprint within your womb okay so definitely don't because Everybody that's in this picture right now know that you're meant to be a star. The good people and the negative people. Because y'all definitely got a star-crossed lover here. All right. Okay, this person may have been in your life for the past three years. Okay, they feel like you got beautiful features, but they energy vampire. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. Pelvic inflammatory disease. Man, I'm telling you, somebody may be trying to attack your womb or give you some type of disease, all right? And this person may be coming in like a Prince Charming, but they really not, all right? So, yeah, y'all, this person not ready to be a father, so don't be letting nobody drop nothing off up in you, Okay. Wanting to steal your ideas and pass them off as their own. But people can't do that because you're too high vibe. And people can tell the difference between your work and somebody that's high vibe. Y'all, this week, y'all guys really want y'all to focus on y'all fitness. All right. So a best friend might actually turn, turn into a son-in-law because this person is so angelic. This week, y'all might be getting some type of new wardrobe. Okay. For those of you that um, have a son-in-law, maybe y'all taking this person shopping to get a new wardrobe or they going shopping to get a new wardrobe. 
okay yeah so whoever this person is that's trying to like come into your energy sexually and leave a dna imprint i feel like this person is a sex worker so it's like i don't know what they be doing because it don't seem like they be healing people maybe that's what they be saying but i feel like they be dropping off uh hosts or they be dropping off uh, entities for people to host you, you may feel extremely, like, shy around this person, and that's why. Because this person is a demon and you angelic. You too angelic. And this person know it. Okay? You guys are finally being recognized for your hard work and career advancements this week. All right? Maybe that's why you're treating yourself to uh, a new wardrobe. Again, you're so angelic. You're too angelic for whoever this is that you have to leave behind. That may be trying to, like pollute your wound or something like that with their nasty ass energy okay this person think that you're gonna chase them y'all this person whew, i just don't like that energy at all they immature joker okay let's get more on the best friend energy Okay, so it may be acute sensitivity between you and this person. So they may feel like your emotions or whatever the case is. Or they may be extremely sensitive to your situation because maybe they went through something similar. They have a high level of intellect. They may be thin, okay? They coming off as somebody that uh, when it comes down to you, this person will have a couple screws missing. So when they find out about whatever this person trying to do, they're going to lose their shit. But they want you to uh, make some self-realizations about the people that you allow into your life, into your energy. Okay? Okay, so this best friend energy, whoever this person is, it's like y'all getting to know each other. But I feel like this person was curious about you for a long time. Water signs, okay? They loving to get to know you. They feel like can't nobody sabotage this shit because they know you got a lot of saboteurs in your life. Y'all making memories with this person is what I'm getting here. So this week, y'all may be making memories with this person, all right? This person refused to let you ghost them. Like, whatever is going on, it's like, this person not gonna let you go for shit, all right? You might have met this person on your birthday, or that may be the first time that they ever reached out to you. All right. I'm telling you, whoever this nasty energy is over here, they may try to sneaky link with you this week. Please don't do it because they are really going to ruin something that's meant to be a power couple vibe. All right. Whoever this person is that's coming back towards you, they thought that somebody was better than you. And that's why they ghosted you. Okay. Somebody here can be an Aries and they a natural boss or a leader. All right, so let's see what's coming in. Who's coming in for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, y'all? I'm telling y'all, somebody... Somebody want to conquer you with their sexual energy because they just keep coming up. Yeah. But it's like the universe is bringing balance to you. So this person trying to cause health issues or something, they're going to come and go. All right. You may just feel a day where you don't feel your best. What else is coming in on water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the weekly vibes. Y'all, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords in reverse here, y'all. I'm telling y'all, somebody coming into y'all like to teach y'all things that y'all don't know. And they are coming in as a friend. But this is a new emotional situation where this person is very attracted to you. And then you got, it's time to take action. And I feel like the action is protection, okay? Because somebody is disturbing your inner peace and causing some type of burdens on you with the energy that they continuously try to place over you, okay? This person instinctively knows just what to do and you are getting ready to learn through a friend how to, like, what's the signs? Like, what are the signs? 
Are you feeling heavy? Are you feeling lethargic? Um, because some of you guys may feel like y'all carrying extra weight. Y'all, yeah. Y'all may feel like y'all carrying extra weight or y'all may be experiencing back pain. And that's some type of magic that's somebody putting on y'all. And it's coming to an end, okay? I feel like in the next 10 days or shorter than that, y'all should be completely cleared. Or this could be could have been going on for the past 10 days. And somebody did it via some fire magic or passion magic, sex magic, to try to keep you and a soulmate from for life separated. Somebody want to cause a painful ending between you and a soulmate. They want that situation to basically take a bow. Okay, yeah. Y'all, I'm seeing a two of cups right underneath that. There you go. That's the connection. That's some, and it's a ten of pentacles connection that you divinely guided towards. So, yeah, somebody here wants you to, like, not have no, no stand power. Okay, they trying to put the they trying to put an energy of lust on you so that you don't have stand power for something that's long term. Okay, so yeah, whoever that energy is, y'all cleanse y'all energy. One thing about it is, I see that the person that's coming into your life, they could be a Pisces or they could be a Pisces Moon or Venus. But it's like this person is coming into your life to bring you peace, peace that people don't want you to have. This person knows a lot. They well versed. So if y'all dating this person or if y'all best friends, but y'all like each other and y'all trying to date and people are trying to come in between this connection, one thing I'm seeing is that this person is very knowledgeable. So if your energy change up and it's due to magic, this person gonna know. They gonna know. And that's the reason why this is unstoppable. Somebody think that they can stop the unstoppable here. Okay. All right. What else is coming in? For water signs, Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. I see y'all gonna have to cuss somebody ass out this week. Y'all gonna have to be very fucking blunt and direct with somebody. What else is coming in for Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio, y'all? <laughs> Scorpio energy. Some type of tower is happening here. Yeah, interference is gonna be broken, though. Somebody trying to cause some type of interference is gonna be a tower to some type of interference that somebody tried to cause because you too wise you know better <laughs> so y'all already recognize the signs or y'all got somebody around y'all that do but somebody do not want y'all to have a happy family situation they want to cause unhappiness they want to they want to put a lustful energy or a sexual attachment to you that's what they trying to do and it's a tower to that situation so something come crashing down because you're just not in that energy. Like, I feel like you, if you don't have no toxic attachments, this person can't put no toxic energies on you that it don't have nothing to latch on to. You might be all positive and high vibe and a sweetheart, a page of cups type energy, and they trying to night of wines you to death. It's like, yeah, they want you to be in this poor energy, or this is what this person is a sex worker, you know, a sex worker and a magician or a witchy poo. Okay, yeah, y'all, I'm telling you, this person think that you don't got no knowledge. Y'all might have played fucking dumb with this bitch. Y'all might have played dumb with this fucker, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing that. Somebody think you don't know some shit, but you do. You know, you do. You definitely do. And then on top of that, you got new people on your team that know what you don't know, okay? So, yeah, somebody here was trying to slow down your money as well. So, I don't know what the hell... But yeah, somebody here is a loyal ass friend. I feel like if y'all don't even, if even if y'all don't end up together, whoever this is, they're going to be loyal to you for life. Okay? It's going to be a loyal friend for life. Even if it's not a loyal, this person may be come in the form of a platonic soulmate or a romantic one. But I'm definitely getting that somebody is trying to keep this person out your life. So this could be something where y'all friends for like a year. Six months to a year, and then it evolves, y'all. Something ain't go far. You couldn't get far. It's just a waste of time. Yeah, I'm telling you. You put an end to it. It's like something did not last long at all. I'm telling you, maybe a total of 10 days, but this person did not get what they want, which is to get you off your path or to have you stuck. And your south node, because they trying to send attachments to you. 
Y'all, and that, this person just don't know that you're too wise for that. You already learned the tricks to the trade. You know how I feel with somebody in your energy. And you know what to do. You know how to take immediate action. Okay? Yeah, so you're not really concerned like that. You see that somebody in your energy trying to uh, create some type of confusion or to try to create some type of illusion so that you don't see who really is the one. And y'all, I ain't gonna lie, it's coming off like it's a best friend. Can y'all see that? Best friend. It's coming off like somebody that's a best friend is the one for y'all. They trying to get you to ignore this person and pay attention to people that's only here to sabotage you. Pay attention to love interest that's only serving as a distraction, to be honest with you. Okay, why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse? This person getting judgment because they try to come into your Akashic Records. Yeah, it's like you keeping your new beginnings a secret. So it's like people don't know who to attack or whatever. It's just you keeping your new beginnings a secret. Yeah, and you letting go of anything that ain't true love. You getting ready to upgrade from true love or upgrade to true love. All right, and it's somebody here that's broke. And your ancestors are proud of you for like passing on this person. They feel like you made a wise decision because somebody was trying to pass themselves off as like a higher level soulmate, twin flame type of energy, but you're too protected. Okay. This person was definitely trying to put you in a position that you couldn't recover from and get you to lose stability or permanently taint your foundation or your vessel. Okay. So where you feel like you're near death if you ain't. Okay. So, all right, y'all. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Protect y'all energy. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.